Good morning, everyone. Jess and I are doing our very first day of wedding planning officially. Um, so we are going to. That's seductive see. voice. That's that new seductive I'm voice. Sick. <laughs> We're going to go see some churches uh, because we are planning on having a Catholic wedding. So I am Catholic, uh, and Daniel has agreed to do a Catholic Don't really ceremony. Don't really have a choice. Don't really have a choice. Well, you're you're a good <laughs> fiance, and you agree to making my dream come true. I've always wanted to have a like antique kind of church with a really long dress and that's all I want for my wedding. Um, I don't think she's gonna go. <laughs> wow, why isn't she going? I don't know. Come on, lady. This lady is like, come on, lady. So we're gonna do something um, that, so yesterday we were planning our engagement party and uh, it's about two weeks from now. It's a little bit rushed, but we want to, cause you know, we have a, like a busy rest of the year, but we're gonna document everything. Granted, we have to, right? We're gonna hire videographers throughout the process to kind of show you guys like, hey, you know, like I, I wanna show you guys, you know? And I think that Jess and I are having a huge wedding first off. I'm gonna set that straight. We met our list and it's close to 400 people. Um, and I have about 13 groomsmen, Jess has about 10 okay. bridesmaids. People are gonna say, oh, why are you filming this? Why are you filming that? And that's kind of for private, but essentially like, we're doing it for us, you know? We're not doing it for everyone, um, but it's it's kind of cool for you guys to kind of see along the process. Like, for those of you, you know, who are also thinking of getting married, or, you know, you just wanna see what the process is like, like, it's, it's gonna be fun for us. So, you know, having a big wedding, every single event is gonna be really big, and, um, you know, we have a lot of friends, we have a lot of dear friends, a lot of family, that's for sure, she's Mexican. And I'm Chinese, so we both have huge families. I saw stars on the pavement California dreams Looked up through the bright lights No stars that I see Okay, so scouting for location one. Uh, <laughs> this <laughs> church was really big. I actually I liked it. And this I mean, is my number one pick. Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, you can tell it was like it could probably host like it a is, thousand people. It is a cathedral. Yeah, so it's like it's... a massive cathedral. <laughs> yeah, so we are going to second location. Obviously, you know it's Sunday, so they don't really talk about it. So we have to wait for the offices to open during the weekdays, and then we can discuss. So we're gonna go to location number two. Okay, so second location uh, is a lot smaller, <clears throat> definitely a lot more uh, compact as opposed to the first one. Not comparing, I'm not trying to compare the cathedrals or anything like which one's better, just like which one's more grand for us to host our ceremony. But we are done for the day. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> that was quick. Thoughts? Which ones? Um, so my number one pick for sure, it's the cathedral and it's always been my dream to get married at a cathedral. Um, so I'm gonna hope and pray that we actually do get that one. I think that this will still be my second option. Um, and then third, it'll be our home church. <laughs> we are in a remote place with some new talent today. Introduce yourself. Hi, Kenzie. Kenzie. Erica. Erica. Fabio. Fabio. Theo. Theo, what are we doing? Oh, Theo is the is the man of the hour, man. Theo, what, uh, kind of tell us where we're going, bro. Going to the prison. Shit. I 
was in communication with Jason, Jason's back there, for I want to say like one or two weeks now, and kind of seeing um, where we could shoot in Houston and kind of, you guys know I've been looking for a videographer um, for some time now and every single person that's DM me and everything like that has been like fitness and I wanted to stray away from the whole fitness uh, videography and kind of go with the direction of lifestyle or or architecture or something like that you know so that's what we're doing we're shooting out of prison man I'm going to jail today no it's not it's not clickbait we're going to jail I feel like I'm in The Walking Dead, and I'm Glenn, and uh, about to get, about to get attacked. <laughs> Yo, honestly, yo, this is exactly how a scary movie starts. This is how start. a scary movie yeah. starts. No, Seven so strangers walking oh, into an abandoned prison. Oh, Seven yeah. strangers <laughs> walking into an abandoned prison. To shoot some fucking photos, bro. You've already seen the first yo, the stuff, yo, the stuff we do for content, right? <laughs> yo, this is... Wow. Is that the one or the smart one for going first? <laughs> Holy crap, guys. You came in here. Dude. Resident Evil type shit. For real, man. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck! Fighting, I love this yeah. Oh my gosh. I meant for pictures, but I wouldn't really, you know, do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, like a chair in here? Yeah. Alright guys, so this is the commissary where the prisoners would eat. Look how crazy this is, like... Just the fact that this was built in 1906 and this is where prisoners were, like, dude, crazy. So this is where we are shooting first. Not yet, uh-uh. Oh, wow. This is cool. This. Here is a one cell block, guys. Obviously, these are prison cells. We're walking. This is probably like the common area or just a bigger, I don't see, I don't know. This is definitely the recreation room. So we're rebels and we climb to the top of the prison to get some super dope shots. But this is how it's looking right now, man. Check this out. What? We're on the top, man. Wow guys, look at this. There's one other cell block over there. And then the prison just goes all the way down there. It's freaking crazy. Dude. So there's not a lot of True cell block guys, look at this. Definitely crazy to see, man. Look at this, man. Girl, look at you! All <laughs> glamorous, <laughs> girl! <laughs> I put on the orange jumpsuit. Oh, you know, oh. Really Work it! <laughs> Wow, these are all the individual showers. So they just reach up, turn it on. Yeah. One temperature. And the water just came out. Dude. Oh, this is so good. I need to get a basketball goal, guys. Check this out. Oh, 
bike came out down. Over niggas, he like five six, got the heart of a child. Oh. Well, now we are. Fly, I'm turbulence. Murder, murder, screaming, fuck twelve with a perfect ten. In these streets, running around, robbing a fucking body like a tournament. Hey, small but effective meetup. We got some dope shots. Stay tuned for them. Everybody, follow everybody that's here right now. I'll put the description and their IG links in the description below. Make sure you check it out. First meetup was a successful one. All right, all right, so home now, guys, and want to say it was a pleasure, and it was very, very fun working with a uh, totally different group of uh, people. Obviously, they are all outside of fitness. They don't do fitness YouTube or anything like that, so it was really, really refreshing uh, working with people like that and then kind of getting different styles and uniqueness of photography, which is amazing, uh, Theo, Erica, and... Um, Jason, all amazing photographers. This was really, really fun. And on top of that, filming at the prison, guys. I want to show you something. So, I went home today and I researched the prison that we were at. And uh, it's crazy, guys. It Apparently, it was... Um, on Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures, and apparently it's a really, really haunted uh, prison. And it was built in 1908, and that was a prison that was a firm believer in the electric chair. So there were 361 people that were executed in the prison, and on top of that, a number of suicides that had happened. Uh, I'm trying to pull up the picture. Here we go. So between 1924 and 1964, a number of 364 people were executed in the electric chair in which they called Old Sparky. Now, we didn't find the electric chair, but it says it sits untouched until today. Um, keep in mind, we didn't explore the whole entire prison. It was 320 acres, so it was really, really big. And we spent most of our majority time in the first inner circle of buildings, which was like five or six. Um, but it's just crazy, man. Like all the footage that, uh, all the footage that you've seen, it's just like it was just unbelievable. It was a feeling unlike any other. Like you, you walk through these aisles, and you walk through these halls and these cells, and these were were like, and you just you're literally just walking through history, you know, like. People were, were in prison there. There was uh, at a period of time when it was at capacity, it was 950 people. And also, another fun fact is um, one of our photographers, Theo, actually worked um, to service that prison in the 90s. Uh, Theo is a little bit older, so he's he's in his 40s. Um, and so you know, in the 90s, you know that was like 20 years ago. So he ran the uh, water filtration systems and uh, sprinklers to central unit prison. So that was an amazing um, little thing that he shared with us. And so it was crazy, it was crazy. Like he hasn't been there um, since that time, like since a long time ago. And they shut down in 2011. So six years ago, guys, it, it was just crazy, man. But I do have to say that um, it was a privilege working with these people. I cannot wait to show you all the amazing photos on Instagram and everything like that. So I want to kind of wrap up the footage here. Um, had an amazing day, man. Just like spend time kind of looking around for wedding shopping and stuff like that. So that's it, man. I, I um, Very fun day. Hope you all enjoyed the vlog. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.